So in a couple of weeks, Huawei's having an event. They're gonna be announcing a bunch of new smartphones, the P-Series lineup of smartphones. We're gonna be seeing the P30, the P30 Lite, the P30 Pro, and possibly even a Porsche-designed smartphone. I'm excited about the P-Series lineup because basically it takes the technical advancements of the Mate series, improves the design, and adds the best camera possible. Now, since we're on the topic of design, it's gonna be very similar looking to the P20 Pro from last year, but a lot less bezel and, of course, more refined edges. Like on the Mate series, for example, we have the cameras directly in the middle. Well, on the P30 Pro, it's gonna be on the left-hand side. Last year, they had a 6.1 OLED display. It was fine, but it was 1080p. This year, they're gonna bump it up to 6.4 or 6.5 inches. The one thing that I like that Huawei does is basically keep the phone smaller than competing products. For example, I have the Mate 20 Pro here, and you put it beside the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Both of these devices have 6.4 inch displays, but the biggest difference though is the width of this phone. It's a lot less wide, making it significantly easier to hold in your hand. The other thing I hope for is to have a different placement for the fingerprint sensor. Now we know there's gonna be a fingerprint sensor that's in the display. I just hope they take it and move it down ever so slightly. One thing Samsung did well is with the placement of their fingerprint sensor, it's on the bottom of the device instead of having it significantly higher. Now I'm nitpicking, this is not a big deal, but it would just make the experience ever so slightly better. The next thing is they're not gonna have ultrasonic. It's gonna be another optical sensor. This is a Kirin 980 inside of here, so you don't have that Snapdragon technology or Qualcomm technology. The notch on top is not gonna be nearly as big as the Mate 20 Pro. If you look at this one, it's pretty big. It's pretty much like the exact same size as the iPhone XS. What they're gonna do is totally scrap face ID or facial recognition and just leave one front facing camera. The next thing is the rumor of the phones coming back with headphone jacks. Listen, it's not coming back to the P30 Pro. It wasn't on the Mate 20 Pro and it's definitely not coming on the P30 Pro. If they do bring back a headphone jack, it's gonna be on the regular P30. Now there's a big rumor and it was actually confirmed by Richard Yu himself. He posted a picture of basically zooming into the moon and taking a photo. This is 10 times the zoom we're talking about. That's incredible. We've seen this already on an Oppo device, a prototype device that was released not too long ago. They're gonna be putting that on the P30 Pro. So essentially what you're getting is four cameras or five cameras actually, four on the back, one on the front. On the back, you're still gonna get your standard 38 or 40 megapixel lens, which will basically be your regular camera. Then you're gonna have a telephoto lens. And instead of being two or three times zoom, this is gonna be 10 times zoom. And based on the leaks that I've seen so far, it's actually gonna have like a square shape instead of your typical circle. And the last lens is gonna be the landscape lens, the one that can take a very wide photo. Now the fourth lens, this one is very interesting. It's gonna be a very small pinhole and it's gonna be used for TOF or time of flight. And basically, or what it basically does is measure the distance of whatever photo you're taking, providing a lot more depth information. And this will essentially give the camera more data to work with hopefully giving you better photos. Now, one thing Huawei nailed with the Mate 20 Pro was battery life, 4,200 milliamps. I got insane battery life. To this day, it's one of my favorite phones when it comes to battery life. Easily taken on up to two days of use before needing to charge. And I expect them to put a 4,200 milliamp battery in their P30 Pro, especially if they're bumping up the display size to 6.4 or 6.5 inches. With that, they're still gonna introduce reverse wireless charging, expect it to be on the P series or at least the P30 Pro. I think it's a gimmick in some situations. Like I'm not gonna use it to charge my friend's device. It's just gonna take too long. But if I have a pair of headphones, like the Galaxy Buds, for example, I can just put it on the back, get another 30 to 45 minutes of use in just five minutes. And I think those situations, it really matters. So at the end of the day, I think the P30 Pro is gonna be an exceptional device and probably one of the better smartphones of 2019. If they can fix the video, the front facing camera, and of course the software, I think they're gonna have a killer smartphone. Anyways, I'll be live in Paris on March 26th to bring you a hands-on of the upcoming devices. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. Let me know what you guys think of the P30 Pro. Do you think it's gonna be the device to beat or do you think there's another smartphone out there that's gonna take the top crown like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video